بسم الله Bon appétit. We complete it on next day. Another day? Another day in the holy month of Ramadan. Another day completed. Hi you guys. Welcome back to our channel. This is Shida. And be wheezy. After cheesy for yeah. easy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please press that subscribe button. Please yes. like our page. Make sure you also press that little bell for notifications Please. so that way you know, next time we drop a video. And we're doing this every week. Every week. Every, every week. week. So be on the lookout. Well, this was a very interesting day. Interesting day. And I'm sure you guys would like to know what we did today. I'm sure they I'm would sure like they to know. Want to know what we Maybe did we today. should let them know what we did today. Let's rewind be like 15 hours ago before when our day got started. Here. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. <laughs> It's 5 a.m. Just woke up and headed into the kitchen. Just brushed my teeth, made wudu. Just put back my do rag back on. And Bella is getting, she's brushing her teeth, and doing the same. Put it in the kitchen and about to make some breakfast, make suhoor. Hey, Assalamualaikum everyone. It's suhoor time, time to start the fast. It's to stop eating is at, what time is it? 5.52? Uh, yeah, about there. Around 5.52 a.m. And after that, we go to pray. But right now, I have to just, I'm making some honey toast and probably some eggs and some sausage. Men tends to eat heavy during the morning. Women don't. I don't like the taste of oatmeal. I hate the taste of oats. Like, okay, I shouldn't say that. I like oatmeal, but I don't like to have these oats in my mouth. I don't like how it feels, but I like the taste of it when I swallow it. So what I do, I use like Quaker oats and I add the instant oatmeal to my bullet like this. Close it. We shake it up. And then I blend it. Just like four seconds to five seconds. And then I put this on the stove so that I could finish cook my oat. Okay, so my go-to in the morning is 
usually some water. Um, just gotta get some dates in me. I'm really great for dehydration. Um, I usually like to give me some Gatorade in. It doesn't really necessarily matter like what kind of Gatorade. I just like to get a little bit in. Also helps for, you know, me uh, not getting as thirsty, you know, throughout the day. Um, and oatmeal, oatmeal is a go-to because it sticks to your stomach. I'm not a huge, huge eater in the, in the morning for sahur, but um, every now and then I like to, you know, get some other things in. So I got me some toast and an egg, one toast, one egg, um, and a little bit of uh, halal turkey bacon. And Bella's on the oatmeal. Um, she eats her oatmeal a little weird, so we eat our oatmeal a little bit differently, a little separately. But we are about to partake in that, so I'll tell you again. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Amen. How is it? Healthy. I know. Let's do that because it makes a strong oatmeal with powder, but mm -mm. healthy. It's <laughs> still healthy. I'm just trying to swallow it. <laughs> Why don't you eat it like a chill? Try not just to. Well, everyone, try to make sure I have my vitamins so i have my fish oil i have my iron i have my prenicare and i also have my folic acid i'm gonna take these tablets all together all together Just pop it one time mm -hmm. one time are you one of those people that who can take like pills without drinking water. Oh, I'm not one of those. Yeah, I, I need water. And same here. My throat will be on but people fire. Be like, they're it's like, be stuck. They just pop it and don't drink anything. It's I'm gonna like, be stuck unless it's one of those pills that melt in your mouth. I don't mind that. But if it's gonna be one of those pills that's gonna get stuck in yeah. your throat, hell no. I don't know how people do that. Jeez. What? Uh, okay, how much more time we have, baby? We it's five forty. We have like what? Seven, eight minutes. Seven, eight minutes. So I had my had my oatmeal. I put some um what do you call it? Protein powder in my oatmeal. And I had my um water and also I had my vitamins. Yes, vitamins. You need your vitamins to have a great day, especially if you're gonna have like a, a full day of doing so many activities. You definitely need your vitamins. I don't want to feel weak or nauseous. And you definitely want to drink your water because this right here, trust me, it goes a long way. It goes a very long way. So I'm going to finish off, drink this water. This is your best friend. This is your best friend, especially when you are fasting. Okay, so Fajr just came in. Um, about to make the event. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Hayya ala wa salam. Hayya ala wa salam.
Hey you guys, so I'm ready to go to the gym to get a little workout. I'm so ready to go to the gym to get a little workout with Bilal. Um, I'm just waiting for Bilal to finish, get ready. And you guys, let's see us back at the gym. Yes, let's get strong. We're already on our way for a workout. Head to the gym for a workout. Yes. Let's go. But before we do that, I gotta take out the trash because guess what? It's trash day. It's trash day. So, <laughs> take out the trash and then we're headed to the gym. Sun is about to rise. Sun is rising. We are headed to stay healthy. Health is wealth. to working out during Ramadan is, is to take your protein powder before you come to the before you start your <laughs> fast take your protein powder but more importantly too make sure that you like Good don't don't overexert yourself mm. like get a good workout in but don't overdo it remember you're fasting because if you work out early in the morning you got the rest of the day then remember that you're gonna be fasting we got another like 12 hours literally to be fasted. So yeah. you want you don't wanna overdo it. Remember you can't drink water, can't eat or anything like that. So don't overdo it. If you fast, um, I, I find out that working out during Ramadan, like there's two really good prime times. One is right after Suhoor. The other one is right before Iftar, right before you're about to break the fast. So, um, but if you work out early in the morning, just really make sure you don't overdo it because you got the rest of the day. Yeah. Gonna be fasting, so. You ready to biz house? Let's go. Get this day started. Get this day started. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. I am at the office now. And just showing you what our life, just a day in our life of as a Muslim couple, fasting, doing a blessed month of Ramadan. And so I'm here at the office right now in the morning. I'm just kind of preparing, get some things ready. 
as I have a listing presentation later on today. And I might even show you a little bit, like go through the neighborhood, kind of give you like a, a quick tour of what the neighborhood kind of looks like, just so you can kind of get a feel of what Kansas City looks like in some of its uh, suburb area. But I want to show you guys something that I've been having a practice that I've been doing during Ramadan. There is a book that I got a couple of years ago. As you can see, it's a little warm, but it's called it's called The Magic. Many of y'all maybe heard of The Secret before, but it's written by Rhonda Byrne, uh, the same person who wrote The Secret. But The Magic, it is a wonderful book. It's a book about just really about being grateful and having a, a, like a mind state of gratitude. And I go through it every Ramadan now. And it's broken down into 28 days, so you don't like read the whole book at one time, one sitting. You actually read like one section, you know, like one day, then two days or three days. So I felt like, you know, why not go do it during Ramadan? So I read one day every day during the month of Ramadan, or at least 28 of them, because there's only 28 versus 30 days of Ramadan. But anyway, 28. And um, so like the first, and the cool thing is that it talks about like there's scripture in it, like about... You know, like in the Quran, Allah says in the Quran that if you're grateful, I will give you more. So it talks about like the real magic is about being grateful. You know, there's scriptures in the Bible, uh, you know, so it, it, there's a saying in it that the Prophet Sallallahu said that gratitude for the abundance you receive is the best insurance that abundance will continue. So it's all about like being grateful and having gratitude. So like number one, like the first day is um, like if you do the first day, it talks about uh when you wake up in the morning, like write down 10 things that you're grateful for. And it could be like the smallest things. Sometimes like we take things so much for granted. It could be like the fact that one, that you woke up. Two, that when you open up your eyes, you could see. Three, when you put your feet down, like you could actually walk. Like, like when I turn on the water, like clean water, like just the smallest things like that, you know, let alone the big things like you might have got a new job or, you know, maybe you found the right partner or maybe... You know, uh, you just got to raise whatever it is, like write those things down. So every day you're going to write 10 things down that you're grateful for. And then the other days, you're also going to do a little something as well, too. So like today was day seven because it's the seven day of Ramadan today. And so today is day seven. And it says like the magical way out of negativity. So you're going to take one thing that's in your life that's negative or that's a challenge in your life. And you're going to write 10 things about that challenge that you're grateful for. So as an example, let's say that you have a job that you really don't like. You hate that job. But find 10 things that you're grateful for about that job. One, just as an example, the ability that you have a job, because there's so many people who don't have a job. So the ability you have a job and you have money coming in, that's one thing. You know, so find 10 things you're grateful for. Because you got to remember, in order for you to get what you really want, you have to be real grateful for what you have now. So that's why I absolutely love this book. I encourage you. Yeah, I don't make any money if you guys go out and buy it, but I'm just saying it has changed my life dramatically, and I know it would change your life if you practice it. Remember, we know a lot of things, but a lot of times we don't practice those things, so you got to practice it. So you got to go through it. So it's about demonstrating. And sometimes you can say, oh, I'm grateful. When people say, I'm, you know, they give me things, I say thank you. Yes, but that's not always necessarily mean you're grateful. Like gratitude is a state of mind, meaning that no matter what's like you have an a, a attitude of gratitude. Like you don't let small stuff, you don't let even big things get to you all the time. Doesn't mean you don't feel, doesn't mean you don't get sad at times, but you don't you don't stay there because it's science says like two things don't occupy the same space at the same time. So it's hard to be grateful and be depressed. I'm just saying. Alright? So you probably want to check it out. But again, guys, I'm here at the office, about to go through uh, some things. Uh, got some phone calls to make. There's a presentation to do later on. I'll take you guys on the neighborhood tour with me. Um, but talk to you guys later. So now that I'm waiting for my blood sample to try, I'm going ahead to get started on cooking in the kitchen because breaking of the fast is around 7.41 p.m. Yes, you're probably thinking I have time. 
but I have a yoga class to teach today at 6 p.m. Central Time. So let me go in the kitchen. I'm going to bring you guys along with me so that we could get started on iftar. What is tonight to break the fast? I think I will do some curry, some curry beef and potato. Yes! That's a plan. So let's go to the kitchen and start cooking my curry beef and potato. Caribbean style, Caribbean style, yes, Caribbean style. Caribbean style. Back in the kitchen, I'm going to just take this beef pieces and I'm going to just make it into beef clots. I'm going to cut it up. And also, guess what I have to break the fast? I have some chicken samosas. When I came to America, there were no samosas on an iftar plate and I was like, oh, where are the samosas? So I go into a store now and I buy these chicken mini samosas, but be careful. Not every store sells really good samosas. Some stores, the samosas taste not as tasty as I would like it to taste, but I really do like this flavor. Um, Colonel's samosas, oh yeah. Colonel, sam Colonel samosas, Colonel. Did I say Colonel? Colonel, yeah. Like Colonel Sanders KFC. They are very flavorful and it tastes really good. So I'm going to just prepare for um, to eat after we break the fast and that's going to be some curry beef with potato and some rice. So I'm having a beautiful day so far, getting all my errands up and going. I finish my, what do you call it? I finish that sponsorship thing I have, that paid partnership. Um, I have to mail it in tomorrow. Also, I've started to cook. <laughs> could smell the aroma of all the curry spices. The house smells so good. I can't wait to break my fast to taste my curry beef and potato with my red beans and rice. I think I would add a little salad to complete the plate. You guys, I'm just so thankful. I'm so grateful. I'm just, I'm just feeling so, ugh, it's a feeling I can't describe. It's, it's just a feeling of peace within myself. And I hope you guys do take this Ramadan and get the best of it when it comes to your praying when it comes to your fasting just use the day in a positive way give back give charity I gave some charity yesterday to someone and the person was the person felt so good and just the mere fact that I could put a smile on someone else's face and help out the situation it makes me feel really good and these are the things I pray for like when I make dua, I always pray so that Allah could put me in a position where I will be able to help myself, my family, my community, and those who are in need. And that's a dua I make all the time. And I'm thankful that Allah, you know, I am on that path to be in a comfortable space so that I'll be able to help those who definitely are in need. <laughs> oh, now I can't help everybody just some <laughs> i'm just playing with you guys i can't wait for you guys to see how my food is going to turn out i'm putting my heart and my soul into cooking i have this thing i normally say when i'm cooking during ramadan i say and I, this is just figuratively speaking you guys please don't take it literal because the food comes out so good during ramadan when i cook i figuratively say god is stirring my pot i sit at back home and my family they go laughing they they cry and be like, Shah, you say some silly stuff. And I think God is definitely stirring my pot because it, the food smells so good. I can't wait to taste it. I know it tasting really good, inshallah. Also, I have yoga classes in the next hour. So this holy month, seeing that we'll be breaking fast around 7, what time? 7.41 p.m. My classes normally start from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So because it's the only one to Ramadan, classes will be from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. They are for those Muslim students who will be doing my flexibility class. They have like 41 minutes if they are fasting or during that time to break their fast down. So I just put the time difference for the holy month of Ramadan to respect this holy month because I don't want to be fasting and having to break my fast while I am teaching. I, that's going to be such a challenge. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys, don't forget to start to my classes, my flexibility classes. 
new intake in April. I can't wait to welcome new students. Take care, everyone. For now, I'll be back. Hey folks, just left the office and I am headed on a listing presentation. And I thought, why not just show you guys some of the neighborhoods, some of the neighborhood of where the house that I have a listing presentation is. Uh, obviously I can't take you inside the house into the, when I'm doing a listing presentation app, but I figured I could kind of maybe take you through the neighborhood. Let me make sure I don't get run over here. So I figured I'd kind of take you through some of the neighborhood a little bit, show you what, a little bit of Kansas City, a little bit of what KC neighborhood looks like. This is one of the uh, suburbs in uh, KC. And this area, and you'll see a little bit, uh, one of the beautiful things I love about this specific area is that the houses are very diverse, much like, um, I should say most like, you know, even the neighborhood itself. So, you don't see a lot of the cookie cutter type style houses. You know, you see your Spanish style, put over here. You see your moderate right here below me. Make sure I don't get run over here. Got a big truck. But you'll see a lot of different type style houses that are in the area. You'll see um, some new construction coming up directly behind me right here. So it's a, it's a beautiful day outside. I figure I just kind of walk through the neighborhood a little bit. Hopefully you guys can hear me uh, through all the construction noise. You know, I did a little vlog a little earlier on my real estate channel. If you guys are not following me, my real estate channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you do that. Go ahead and do that now. So that way, no matter if you live in the Kansas City area or not, that way you gotta get a chance to see what Kansas City looks like. Get a chance to see a little bit of real estate in the Kansas City area and also, a lot of people, one of the things I can say is that there have been a lot of people who have migrated throughout the years to Kansas City. Kansas City is on the up and coming. You know, back in the day when I would meet somebody here in Kansas City who lived in Kansas City, majority of times they lived in Kansas City because they was born and raised here in Kansas City. Now, fast forward to now, not the case. You'll find a lot of people in Kansas City who lived in other areas around the country, from California to New York to Texas, you name it. Area is much, much more diverse. A lot of people even moving from other countries, hence Bella, <laughs> but other people as well too, moving from other countries. We have a huge, huge population of Somalians here, a huge population of um, Latinos, Latin, uh, Hispanics, you name it, like there's a lot of people. I think there's over, maybe over a hundred languages that are spoken in Kansas City. So, Kansas City, it's on the come up. Beyond, you know, things like the Super Bowl champions, beyond things like, uh, you know, you have NCAA basketball men, the women tournament, stuff like that here. You got the NFL Drive coming. A uh, couple of weeks, you have, uh, you got the World Cup coming here. You know, two airports. There's a lot of stuff that's happening, you know, say this is a new midwest and there are a lot of new things that are happening here hey it's a beautiful day outside you guys it feels like spring it feels like trinidad and tobago <laughs> it's just that it's not as hot look at the view the backyard is so beautiful all the greenery the grass the trees the leaves are still brown because we are still kind of coming out of winter but i can't wait until the leaves go grow back Outside looks really beautiful once the leaves are on at the three. And guess what? You know how long I put these sneakers outside to dry? <sighs> like uh, over a week now. But the, re the rain kept on falling. The rain kept falling, so hence why I couldn't bring my sneakers inside. But today I will definitely bring the sneakers inside because it's dry. So this is just a view of how it looks outside. It's a really beautiful day. Once your breathing has become soft and gentle and calm, that brings us to the end of our flexibility class. All right, I've left the office. Um, I just stopped by my mom's house to pick up some 
halal meat that she got for me, Belle, and the kiddos. Uh, it's a, almost seven o'clock. Been gone all day. Stomach is rubbling. Stomach is rumbling. This is, hey, this is Ramadan. This is what Ramadan is. What is Ramadan is about? You're supposed to be home. Thirsty, parched. But this is what Ramadan is about. And, you know, life don't stop. You keep moving on. You got to keep, you know, just because it's Ramadan, you still got to work. Still got, still got bills. Still got stuff you got to, you know, still got responsibilities. You know, luckily, uh, today I didn't necessarily have to, um, Drop the kids off to school or pick them up from the school. Uh, they're not with me today, but so I had to had to, have to like go back and forth, going back and forth, like I do uh, a lot of days. But uh, today was a busy day. Today was a busy day. So I am about. I got one more step I got to make, and then I'm headed home to see my lovely wife Bella. And inshallah. We'll be uh, making Iftar. We should be having Iftar in about an hour from now. So uh, I should be I should be back home soon. I just finished teach my flexibility class. And now I'm going to finish cook. I want the potatoes to get nice and soft. I feel like the meat is still a little... I am contemplating to put this in a pressure cooker and I think I might as well do that. For some reason, the, the beef is still, it's still hot. So guess what? When this happens, I normally would just dump it in a pressure cooker and it will finish cook it for me and just give it like 30 minutes and I'm sure it will be cut, fully cut. So before I got Mark to out, he used to call his pressure cooker his wife. And guess what I ended up doing to his wife by accident? I ended up dunging his wife. Yeah, I need to buy him a new pressure cooker. These things are super expensive. Let's take the, place it in here. It will be less than 40 minutes. I think that's too long. I really wanted 30, but I didn't get 30. It's so complicated to use sometimes. Assalamu alaikum, dear. Where you at? Hey. Hey. So he's taking me and I'm filming this. <laughs> Did you, you miss guys, me? Did I see my husband? He just came home. He just came home. Hello. Yes, I got some for you. What's this? We went to the gym this morning trying to make me gain weight. I thought you would love that. Okay. I you know I would love it because I love sweets. Baby, you do not know how to open stuff. No, I'm terrible with this. That's what it's supposed to like. Baby, see the sticker? This is where you're supposed to open it. Boom, like that. Oh, this is so cute. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, more things added to our iftar plate. So that's carrot. I mean, like carrot. I love carrot. We love carrot cake. Yeah. Got some meat, meatballs, links. From here, cooked halal beef topping. That's for pizza. Oh, Put nice. on top. It's dry ice. You don't want to touch that. You do not want to touch this dry ice. Not with your bare hands. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's uh, the van. Looks like it just came in. Time to break the fast. So we got our water, time to break our fast. We got some dates over here. And, you know, it's, um, the Prophet said that, you know, you should hasten to break the fast. And there's also, he said that the one, that there's a time where when it's time to break the fast, when you make dua, that, that dua is always accepted. So if there's something that you always want, you want to pray for, this is the best time right now when it's time to break the fast to make dua for that. I think so. Okay, baby, it's time. Ramadan is the only mm -hmm. month we have a date every night. <laughs>
getting this used to be packed when we first got it. It's right here. I told them already. This was your wife. This is my wife. And I broke your wife. This is my wife. I dented his wife by accident. He's my second wife. This is my wife. And who's still the second? Love you. Still love you. She's first. She came first before you, babe. But Allah says in the Quran that you love them equally. But she messed. Look what she did. Look what she did. You showed them? Yeah. What she did? Okay. So messed Crazy. up. Oh, I mentioned it. You mentioned the same thing. Jealousy. It's jealousy. And I look at her. She loved my wife more than I love her. This is the greatest thing I've been in it. Yeah. In life. It's the best thing ever. Salat, make my grill, and then we can indulge, indulge in our iftar. Get our eat on. So, I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. We were up so early. And I think oh, when no. I'm back asleep, it's all as you didn't sleep. Oh, no. I was. Ugh, you probably out. was so tired. Up and at him. Yeah. Up and at him. Just left the house and I am headed to walk inside the masjid for the nightly prayers of Thought Week prayer. And Bella's at home. This is what our this is what a, a full day of Ramadan looks like. Wake up early, go to work get some stuff done, and then head to the masjid at night for prayer. <laughs> So just got done with the prayers. So during the month of Ramadan, we have nightly prayers. So we pray five times a day, every every day as Muslims. Uh, but during Ramadan, we make extra prayers. And one of those things that we do is we do nightly prayers and it's called Tarawih prayer. And that is a prayer that we uh, say during the month of Ramadan and all around like the world at masjid almost every masjid people are gathered to make these nightly prayers it is it is not something that is obligatory it is something that is um completely up to you if you do it but there are so 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 many blessings in it um so whether you go to the masjid or not you know whether you do it at home etc um I highly, highly recommend, you know, make sure that you make those prayers. But this is what Ramadan is about. Ramadan is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time of the year. It's so much more than just fasting from food. You know, we're fasting um, not just from food, but from with your eyes, you know, from looking at things you shouldn't be looking at. Fasting with your ears, not listening to stuff that you shouldn't, not, you know, listening to gossip, whatever it may be. Uh, music, certain, you know, music that has, you know, different language. Um, you know, you're fasting from, you know, with your mouth, you know, not, uh, you know, saying things you shouldn't be saying or, you know, using foul language, etc. Uh, so there's so, so, so much more than just fasting with your food. We're praying more, you know, every day during the month of uh, the Ramadan, we read in the Quran, uh, which is the holy book for Muslims. And we read the entire Quran during the month of Ramadan. So each day 
is we read one thirtieth every single day of the Quran. So by the time we get to thirty days, we read the entire Quran. Um, so, and then a lot of times the night nightly prayers we have a lot of mashits as well. The whoever is doing leading the prayer, a lot of times, sometimes they may even do the whole one thirtieth that night, the whole juzla that night. So. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, time of the year. Fellowship coming together. We have iftar sometimes at the masjid, or you can do it at home. But it's just about being together, brothers and sisters. You know, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful time. It's like it's like a best friend having a best friend that comes up once a year. You anticipate him or her when they come, and you hate when they're about to leave. But we're just showing you what our life is like on a daily basis during the month of Ramadan. And I uh, hope you guys get a chance to kind of really see, you know, what, what we do here in Ramadan. Right, just getting home. And I'm kind of being quiet because I don't know if Bella's asleep or not, but it's, uh, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I still got some work I need to get done because I have some meetings tomorrow morning. Um, so I'm going to be up for a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to see if she is up here. And uh, see what's going on. Hey, baby. Hey. You still up? Yes. I thought you was not out. No. Just snoring and all that stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm about to sleep. I just mm -hmm. have to. Yeah, I got to do some a little bit of work to. before I have to bed. Okay. Been a long day, baby. <sighs> Bella looking at baby pictures of me. Yes. Oh, God. See your face. So good. So cute. <laughs> my grandmother, mommy. Oh, oh I miss you. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> so cute. I drew. Oh, so cute. <laughs> That's a beautiful picture. Mm -hmm. So we had a full day today. And thank you so much for joining us to see how we spend our days in Ramadan. Now Bilal is here. Bilal, you want to say hi? It's a long night. Long, long day. Night. It's almost midnight. Almost midnight, like minutes away from midnight. And we have to get up in the next what? How many hours? Five hours? Um, that's the fact that I still got work to do. Mm. Listen, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bilal and Shida. Please like this video and subscribe and also comment because I would definitely reply to you guys. I'll try my best to reply to everyone. Thank you so much for watching us. Bye, it's time for bed.